welcome back to my channel. Uh, today is not a usual video. I'm going to talk about stop smoking. In this video, I'm going to show you how I motivate myself and I keep myself on tracks. It's been now exactly six months I stopped smoking. It's been hard. It's been easy. It's the best decision I made for myself. So let's start it straight away because I have so much to talk about and I'm hoping if you have an addiction problem, especially with the cigarette and the nicotine, hopefully this video will help you a little bit. about a real smoker a pack a day i'm not a social smoker i try to be just you know going out have a drink and have a cigarette and not smoking the day after i can't do that fit at all in my lifestyle i look after my skin i look after my health i'm a big sporty person i love sport i'm always being a very active person even when i was smoking uh, I don't eat meat. I was a vegan hardcore for five years. Now I'm a vegetarian, but I eat a bit of a fish. So smoking didn't make sense to me. I don't have any more addiction. I love Pinot Noir, but it's not an addiction. When I stopped smoking six months ago, my pack of cigarettes, of 25 cigarettes, cost $40, Australian dollars, but still $40 per day. To be honest with you, it's not the first time I stopped smoking. The longest I spent without smoking was one year. And I go back smoking because I lost my job at the time and I was extremely stressed. Reading books like this, I have apps. I tried hypnotherapy twice, it worked, but then I have relapsed. Um, I tried patches, hate it, gum, hate it. Um, you need to to change a bit the way you think about the cigarette. Stop finding yourself excuses. Stop saying it calms you down, it helps you to breathe better, uh, it helps you to go through hard times, it reassure you. When you're bored, you have a cigarette. When you watch TV, you have a cigarette. Uh, the best way to, to stop smoking, I set up a date. So I decided, for example, um, beginning of January, let's say the 5th of January, I decided this day I'm going to stop smoking. Okay. So I didn't buy cigarette this day. I was really stressed, but I prepared my day. So I prepared actually for the following weeks. So I removed any sugar, cakes, everything from the kitchen or the house. I bought a lot of chewing gums. Uh, I prepared a lot of fresh uh, vegetables, cucumber, carrots, and I peel off everything and prepare in boxes in the fridge. So I educate myself a lot on the internet. So it's very hard, but trust me, you have to do it. Or even if you're more courageous, go to a hospital and go to the area of people who are dying from a lung cancer, throat cancer, anything attached to a cancer due to the cigarette. Go to see the people with a hole in the throat, you know, or talking through a robot. Google a lot of articles about cancer and I really force myself to, um, to look at those horrible photos. Then I educate myself more and more reading articles. I thought naively and stupidly, I thought cigarette was only, only uh, bad for the lungs and the throat, but actually it's bad for every interns, every organs of your body, inside the stomach, the guts, everything. Sorry for the snoring, Oscar is there again. <laughs> um, it, it, was, it was bad, and talk about Oscar, you know, of course if you have kids it's bad. Uh, all those passive smokers in the house stink. My car, even now, six months after, I can still smell a little bit of tobacco in a, in, in a car. The clothes, everything, I have to repaint my whole apartment in white. I found the nicotines on the windows, they were just disgusting. And the thing I've been doing as well, it's very violent what I'm going to tell you. This marmalade jar that I kept, that I, I cleaned, usually I use it to stock anything else. But before this date, I stopped smoking. I stopped using every ashtrays and I use this jar to keep all my cigarette butts and all the ashes and something you sealed, okay? 
And when I stopped smoking, <laughs> I told you it's gonna be violent. And every time I had a craving or every time I thought, oh, this is ridiculous, I need a cigarette. I want a cigarette. I grabbed this jar, I opened it, and I smelled it. And I thought, oh, it smelled like death. And I look at the, the, the birds and the ashes, and I thought, my lungs are going to be like that if I keep going. I told you it's violent. So I don't know if it works for you, but it did work for me. Another thing that helped, and uh, it's an Australian app organized by the government. It's called Quit Buddy. And Quit Buddy, I'm sure there are a lot, a lot of apps like that you found online. But my Quit Buddy um, is calculating how many days I stopped smoking. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, hopefully you can see it. You're not going to see my face. So, so far it tells me that I stopped smoking 175 days and 31 minutes. And they calculate the amount of money I've been saving since. So, as six months, I saved $7,010. I didn't smoke 4,381 cigarettes. 4,000 cigarettes. Can you imagine? All right, guys, another trick as well that did help me to stop smoking cold jerky. Uh, again, about an application. I have a meditation application called Calm. This is not a sponsor video, as usual. Uh, calm like Calm. And uh, when I do 10 to 15 minutes meditation every morning, I'm someone who meditates regularly anyway. I, between the first two months when I stopped smoking, I had uh, twice I was back smoking just for a night because alcohol is a big trigger and I felt terrible the day after. So I had some cigarettes on the evening with alcohol, uh, had the time of my life and wake up in the morning with a disgusting mouth. Plus if you drink alcohol and smoke the day after, it's harder than if you don't smoke. Um, I, I felt terrible about myself, my self-esteem, my confidence were like really close to the floor and it's not a good feeling. But I did it and it just proved to everyone that we all human at the end, we are making mistakes, but I do not want to smoke again. Then what happens the COVID-19, the business, the stress, the anxiety, what's next, you know? And I was really thinking for a while back to smoking. Um, but I just keep telling myself, you know what? Non-smokers, they have as well the same problems in life. They have as well the same stress and they have no excuses. That's not because they stress or having go through a very hard time, they smoke. So why as an ex-smoker or a smoker you should smoke? Because as well, if I have a big craving, I usually go outside it takes some fresh air, even at the beginning of the year here, it's very hot, it's close to 35, 40 degrees, but I was taking some fresh air, go for a swim, a big glass of ice water, mint, chewing gums, uh, listening to very calm music. The thing is, mold, it's really, you have to tell yourself, it's one step at a time, one day by the day, I don't know if you can say that, and then the weeks, and then the weeks become months, and you know, slowly it's one month, two months. So now, uh, six months then, the only down, down thing to me of stop smoking is I put some weight. And even if I was extra, extra careful, I plus with what happened with the business and the COVID-19 and the quarantine, I mean, it's no excuses, you know, but um, the food tastes better, I eat more, I enjoy more food, you know cigarette nicotine is a fat burner i know if i smoke now for a month i will lose five kilos straight away and i know it's not the way you should think or i should think but it's true okay all those kilos are very hard to lose very hard nothing in the world right now i will go back smoking to lose weight this is not going to happen it costs way too much money uh, i'm only already 47 depends but i can see i'm only 47 uh, I'm investing in my work, I'm investing in my businesses, I'm investing in my uh, wardrobe, I'm investing in my health, I love doing sport, I'm investing in products that I buy for the skin and etc. You know, so to me, stop smoking is investing in my health big time. 
I've been smoking for way too many years, it's done. Now I want to see the next 40 years, you know, or 50, because I'm going to live very, very old. <laughs> but the most important thing I've been doing as well, and that really, truly, truly helped. Um, do you remember I said to you that with the stop smoking and $40 per per day in a pack of cigarettes and by the way you have to know every time you buy a pack of cigarettes you give money back to the government who spend this money for the health department but as well the government owns a lot of shares in those nicorette and things like that so it's like biting you on it's like giving your money to people who are going to tell you stop smoking but here are the patches you can buy that I invest in and it's money at the end. Either way, if you smoke or if you decide to stop smoking, the money is go back to the government. And I really didn't like the idea. So I just want to let you know the best part of stop smoking. I'm creating a bank account uh, just for this called self-care. And for self-care, I decided for my everyday account to transfer every day $40 on my self-care account. Because that's money I will spend in a pack of cigarettes. And then I tend to forget about it. Um, money accumulated very quickly in this account. So with this money, I decided to take a part of this money into my over account when I'm investing. So I know this money, it's working. And the money then is just sleeping. I spoil myself every month or so every week. So I have maybe a budget of three, four hundred dollars per month which I buy actually new clothes, thank you Zara and Mango, or if I want to buy a nice pair of shoes, or if I need to go to the beautician, or if I need to, to do something for myself, okay? I need day spa, uh, I never go over this budget, and this money is nothing to do with my everyday expenses or the business uh, account, it's nothing to do with that, it's just an account called self-care, it's the money that I can spend on myself and truly when you don't spend this money on a pack of cigarettes on horrible horrible effect you have on your health and people around you and suddenly you buy yourself a maybe after a few months you know I mean imagine it's 40 grand per year it's seven thousand dollars after six months in seven thousand dollars you can buy a very very expensive designer handbag with money that actually you didn't save for anything it's just money that you decided not to spend anymore in cigarettes uh, and I found that fabulous because I love having this, this account now and spending a little bit more money on myself and, um, and that's pretty cool. It's going to be a very long video. I'm so sorry about that. I hope that helps. Um, please leave me a comment if you're smoking or stop smoking and you recognize where I've been through. Um, I'm sure within the next six months, I'm going to lose the weight. I'm going to be back to my super self-confidence, etc. Um, but stop smoking guys if you're still doing it or if you're hesitating or scared trust me it's really worth it i know it is hard but you if i can do it you can definitely do it so uh good luck and um i see you next time oh my gosh i forgot <laughs> i'm so intense into this video this is like like a really a one-to-one -one video uh please subscribe follow me on instagram leave a comment thumbs up that's very important Sometimes on a video I got like a thousand likes or hundred likes and I had one thumbs down. And I'm thinking, who is that? But it doesn't matter because it's still good for the analytics anyway. <laughs> but thank you so much for watching. Uh, next video would be much more fun about uh, beauty, lifestyle. But I think this video was really important and really close to my heart to talk about it. And I've done this video as well because a lot of you have been asking me via YouTube, via Instagram. Um, so I hope this video is going to help you if you have a nicotine addiction or if you know someone who needs to stop smoking. Uh, just watch this video 10-12 minutes of your time and it might work. But it's working and it feels good. 